Welcome to this week's edition of Military News Review from our News and Current Affairs Department. It's a program that highlights major military events of the week. Nigerian army during the past week said its troops repelled Boko Haram attacks on Michika, Adamawa State. A statement issued by the army spokesman, Colonel Esagir Musa, noted that the terrorists met their Waterloo and suffered heavy casualties when they attempted to infiltrate Michika in Adamawa State. He said that the gallant troops of 115 Task Force Battalion deployed to Lhasa in Borno State received a distress call from vigilantes at Meikadiri village on the movement of suspected Boko Haram terrorists along Meikadiri Shuwari en route to Mechika. Colonel Musa stated that the troops immediately swooped on the terrorists which led to exchange of fire and the terrorists attempted to escape but were intercepted and suppressed with a heavy volume of fire. He added that the area has been dominated by troops while the situation is under control, noting that items captured from the terrorists include one Ford vehicle, two Toyota Starlet vehicle loaded with foodstuffs, one motorcycle and one inflating machine. Nigeria Army last week confirmed the killing of the garrison commander 33 Artillery Brigade Shadawanka Barracks, Bauchi Colonel Mohamed Barra. The spokesperson of 33 Artillery Brigade, Major Yahaya Kabara, who confirmed the report, said unidentified gunmen killed the officer. Major Kabara explained that Colonel Barak was riding a power bike on Joss Bauchi Highway while returning from Kaduna when the unfortunate incident happened. He added that investigation is ongoing. A troops of 72 Special Forces Battalion Makodi deployed at Yelwata in Guma local government area, which is a border town between Benue and Nasara State, while on patrol along road Yelwata Kadorko to monitor post election activities in that axis. Last week, I had an encounter with some suspected armed robbers. Assistant Director, Army Public Relations, 707 Special Forces Brigade Makodi, Captain Samson Zakom, said. The suspected armed robbers were dressed in military desert camouflage and robbing motorists along the road were dislodged by the troops of the battalion who engaged the robbers in a gun battle which resulted in the elimination of one of the armed robbers during the encounter while others took to their heels. Items recovered include one locally made rifle, three rounds of 7.62mm special ammunition, one M2 case of 7.62mm special ammunition, and one case of 7.62mm special ammunition. Similarly, some cultists who have been terrorizing the North Bank general area in Makodi metropolis were also arrested by intelligent operatives of 72 Special Forces Battalion deployed within the town to monitor post-election activities. Captain Zakom said the suspect who were three in number were intercepted and recovered items include one locally made revolver pistol, one round of 9mm, a poly bag containing weeds suspected to be Indian hemp. He therefore urged the public to be security conscious at all times and to report any suspicious activities of or movements of individuals or groups to the nearest law enforcement agents for prompt action. Nigerian Air Force within the past week graduated another batch of Special Forces personnel to boost internal security operations in the country. A statement issued by the Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigerian Air Force Air Commodore Ibikunle Daramola in Abuja, said the 175 graduating students of Special Forces Corps 4 Oblique 2019 successfully completed the 10-week rigorous and intensive training in asymmetric warfare at the Regiment Training Center, Kaduna. Speaking at the graduation ceremony, the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, stated that in the last Last four years, the Nigerian Air Force had made deliberate efforts to reposition the service into a highly professional fighting force with the training of over 1,000 special force personnel as part of the overall strategy for its capacity building initiatives. The Chief of Air Staff promised to sustain the training in order to enhance the service force projection posture while also improving his base defense and force protection capability. Air Marshal Abubakar, who expressed satisfaction with the quality of training, noted that the special force personnel were making huge impact in the fight against terrorism and armed banditry across the country 
as portrayed in the recent arrest of armed bandits at Berningwari in Kaduna State, as well as professional conduct of Nigerian Air Force personnel deployed to support the Nigerian police in providing security during the recently concluded general elections. Air Marshal Abubakar, however, charged the graduates to be prepared to do their best in all circumstances as their future assignments would require courage, good judgment and commitment. A Nigerian Navy forward operating base, FOB Ibaka, within the past week handed over a vessel, MV Swordfish V, and 12 crew members arrested over illegal bunkering to operatives of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, led by the Uyo Zona head, Mr. Abdul Karim Chukul, in Orong Akwaibom State. Speaking at the handing over, the acting commanding officer, Navy Captain R.O. Adoki, disclosed that the suspects were involved in illegally bunkered petroleum products and arrested at the Monipolo Nigerian Limited platform at Agbani Oil Field by a team of naval men on patrol. Also, the EFCC Uyo Zonal Head, who condemned the action of the illegal bunkers, promised swift and thorough investigation, which he said will be carried to a logical conclusion, adding that the arrested suspects will face prosecution if found culpable. Nigerian Navy within the past week called for the collaboration of regional partners towards better maritime security within the Gulf of Guinea. The Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibok Ete Ibaz, stated this during the Senior Leadership Symposium of the 2019 exercise Obangami Express. Admiral Ibaz, who was represented by the Chief of Policy and Plans, Rear Admiral Begroy Ibe Ngo, stressed that effective multilateral cooperation among regional partners would go a long way in addressing the maritime security challenges in the Gulf of Guinea. He advocated for the establishment of a common mechanism for information sharing as well as harmonized maritime security initiatives and legal frameworks. According to him, studies had shown that the best approach to the provision of maritime security on the seas within the Gulf of Guinea was cooperative capacity building through collaborative effort. The naval chief, however, identified a slow criminal justice system as a limitation to the multilateral inter integration among maritime enforcement agencies. He noted that there was a need for better enhancement of maritime security laws. A Nigerian Air Force in the past week commissioned a new state-of-the-art geospatial intelligence data center at the headquarters, Nigerian Air Force, Abuja. The center, which is equipped with high-tech computer hardware and software, will improve Nigeria Air Force capacity for accusation, exploitation, analysis, and interpretation of imagery and geospatial information to provide actionable intelligence for the armed forces and other security agencies. The Director of Public Relations and Information, Nigerian Air Force, Air Commodore Ibikule Daramola, noted that the Geospatial Intelligence Data Center is to further enhance the ongoing intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance efforts in the Northeast and other parts of Nigeria. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Gabriel Oloni Shaking, who was the guest of honor at the ceremony, commended the Chief of Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, for the laudable initiative. On his part, the Air Chief has stated that the establishment of the Nigerian Air Force Geospatial Intelligence Data Center was as a result of the resolve of the service to continue to build capacity across the spectrum of operations. This will also enable the military to bring the fight against terrorism and other forms of criminality in the country to an end as soon as possible in its effort to operate at par with the militaries all over the world. Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, in the past week said the Nigerian Air Force would continue to expand its operations, especially in the area of capacity building across the nation. Air Marshal Abubakar made the disclosure during the first quarter Chief of Air Staff Conference 2019 in Abuja, which had branch chiefs, air officer commanding, commandants of tri services institutions and other senior officers as participants. The air chief who promised to continue to ensure that the sovereignty of Nigeria was not undermined also reiterated the commitment of the service towards bridging the gap between a force projection and protection.
Air Marshal Abu Bakr also commended the commanders and air officers commanding for their support in the just concluded a 2019 general election. The first quarter Chief of Air Staff Conference 2019 is meant to ensure that field commanders are kept abreast of latest development in the Nigerian Air Force and also provide an avenue for the NAV leadership to receive feedback from principal staff and commanders. A Nigerian army in the past week redeployed some senior officers with Major General Hakim Otiki being moved to 8th Division in Sokoto as a general officer commanding. According to a statement by the army spokesman, Colonel Sagir Musa, Major General S.O. Olabanji, GOC 8th Division, had been moved to Infantry Corps Center as commander under the new posting. Brigadier General H.I. Bature from 34 Brigade to Headquarters Training and Doctrine Command as a director examination and Brigadier General T.O. Olowo Meye from Headquarters 33 Brigade to Army Headquarters Department of Civil Military Affairs as a Director Civil Military Affairs. Similarly, Brigadier General B.A. Muhammad from 23 Brigade to Martin Luther Agwe International Peacekeeping Center as a Deputy Commandant and Brigadier General U.M. Bello from Headquarters Training and Doctrine Command to 63 Brigade as Commander. Brigadier General M.T. Durowaye moved from Directorates of Army Transformation and Innovation, moves to 33 Brigade as commander. Others are Brigadier General S.B. Okumapai from Army Headquarters Department of Civil Military Affairs to Headquarters 14 Brigade as commander and Brigadier General N.M. Jega from Headquarters 2 Brigade to 9 Brigade as commander. With the latest posting, Brigadier General K.O. Aligbe of Commander 16 Brigade was moved to Defense Headquarters as Acting Director, Liaising National Assembly, amongst others. The newly appointed Commanding General, United States Army, Africa, Major General Roger Clouter, during the week past, commended the Nigerian Army's effort in curbing contemporary security challenges, especially the Boko Haram terrorism. A statement issued by the Acting Director, Army Public Relations, Colonel Sagir Musa in Abuja, noted that the Commanding General gave the commendation during his visit to the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuru Yusuf Burutai, at the Army Headquarters, Abuja. According to the statement, General Roja said his visit is to seek for further collaboration with the Nigerian Army in the areas of training, support, procurement, and logistics. In response, the Chief of Army Staff lauded the U.S. Army Africa Command for the assistance to the Nigerian Army and assured the Commanding General of a desire of the Army to strengthen the existing agreement with the U.S. African Command, particularly in the areas of training, logistics, and other defense-related matters, such as counter-terrorism and counter-insurgency training. That's where we end this week's edition of a Military News Review.